Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today I've got my very first Modern Warfare 3 commentary ever. I know I haven't done a lot of commentaries in a while, so I might be a little bit rusty on the microphone, but I hope you guys still enjoy the video anyway. Um, today's gameplay will be a team deathmatch on Dome. The gun I'm using is the M4A1 with the red dot sight, and the gun proficiency that I'm using is Kick. The perks I'm using is Sleight of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Stalker Pro. And the kill streaks that I'm running is UAV, Predator Missile, and Attack Helicopter. Now, in this video, I'm gonna I want to quickly talk about how I feel overall about Modern Warfare 3, how it plays online. Um, to me, it feels a lot different to Modern Warfare 2. Um, it takes a lot more bullets to kill somebody than Modern Warfare 2, and also it plays a little bit faster than Black Ops, so in hindsight, it feels like a mixture between Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. I know a lot of directors on YouTube have told um, people about this, but it's really how it feel, feels, guys. And uh, if you don't have the game, uh, take our word for it. Now, I also want to talk about some good points and bad points on Modern Warfare 3. Uh, the good points is the kill streak system, how it cycles through your kill streaks in one life rather than you having to take a death and go through the kill streaks again. So that's a really good thing. And um, yeah, you don't have to run out and deliberately die to get your kill streaks again, which is good. Um, Infinity Ward also caters for players who aren't good at this game as well as they have the supportive kill streaks. The supportive kill streaks work by the amount of kills or points you gain in a game and when you die the kills or points um, don't reset. So in order for us to get a UAV in the supporter class um, all you need is pretty much four kills in a game or if you're running hardline is three kills and that's it. You're gonna get a kill streak for sure. Um, the next I want to talk about the map design. The map design in, in Modern Warfare 3 is actually really good. Um, it promotes a lot of gun on gun action and there's a lot less cover points for people to camp behind and pick people off. And um, there's a lot less power positions as well so that's good as it makes for a much more fair gameplay and um, a much more enjoyable experience of multiplayer. Uh, and another good one, another good point about Modern Warfare 3 is definitely the amount of air support that's in the air. You're only allowed one helicopter at a time, I'm pretty sure, unless if you're running a Reaper or AC-130, and that's about it. So the amount of air support maximum is two, so um, it doesn't overflow like it does in Modern Warfare 2, which is good, as uh, they took a page from Black Ops, and obviously it's been successful. Few bad points about Modern Warfare 3 is obviously the magic bullet, uh, which is the lag issue in the game, and um, I'm sure a lot of people have experienced it when you run past the wall and bullets still come and penetrate through the wall. Well, not even that; they don't even penetrate through, and they still kill you. So, obviously, that's something to do with their servers, and uh, I really hope they fix that up soon. There's two guns that I find that are very overpowering in this game. Uh, one of them is a Type 95. Uh, I really hope they nerf that gun down as uh, it takes one burst to pretty much kill somebody and it's definitely a lot like too power too powerful and the other one is the akimbo fmg nines oh my gosh those that gun is very overpowered and infinity war needs to definitely nerf those two guns and um, it will definitely balance out all the guns in the game pretty much and the last one I want to talk about is the spawn points the spawn points definitely need to be fixed in Team Deathmatch, um, also in Domination as well, or any other game type, as I don't like people spawning next to me and getting me from behind while I'm on a high kill streak. So Infinity, Infinity Ward, please fix that. And um, also, while you're watching this video, I want to give you guys a quick tip on how to play Dome. Uh, one tip that I could give you guys is to be alert, be aware of your surroundings, and keep on moving, as it's such a small map. Um, staying in one position is not going to do you wonders and um, yeah just keep moving around the map fellas and you'll definitely get a much better score don't sit in one position so the final score in this game is 32 on 1 I hope you guys enjoyed my video as I'm going I want to make a lot more videos for you guys and I'll see you guys later peace